Welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. This is Carrie, and today we're going to look at different ways of fading in and out your audio using DaVinci Resolve. Stay right there. All right, so a lot of people have asked how do they fade some audio in or fade it out uh, at the end of a scene, and there's actually several different ways of doing it. So we're going to look at the different ways in the edit tab. Now there's going to be other ways that we can do it in Fairlight, but I'm going to show you the easy ways that we're going to do it in the edit tab. So very simple stuff. Now I've got a simple video clip here that's totally irrelevant and meaningless. Uh, it's just there for the sake of being there. And I have a, a music clip from bensound.com. He has some great royalty-free music that you can use, uh, download for free. You just need to give him credit. So um, awesome stuff over there. Highly recommend if you just need to grab a quick clip of something. And he's got some, some paid stuff as well. Really cool. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use right now. And we're just going to cut this thing up. And I'm going to take a section here. I'm going to use my blade tool, cut it, and just move a segment out of the way so we can work with just this small segment right here. So first thing, we can use the transition handles. And as I mouse over the audio, you can see the little white handles at the beginning of the end. Same way we have in video where if I pull that in, it's going to fade that video in, we can do the same thing with audio. So I can fade that in and over here I'll fade it out. I'll actually cut this over here. I'll move this section out of the way and I'll fade this out. So now when we watch this, okay, so that's one way of doing it and I'll show you another way. Another way is to actually work with the volume control. Now that's this little tiny thin green line going across here and if I mouse over it you can see I can adjust the volume up or down. So I can do that. I'm going to command Z so I'm back at the original and I can add basically keyframes to that. So I'm going to option click there, kind of lined up there, and I'm just going to grab another one. doesn't matter where in here because I can actually move it left and right. And I'm going to pull that one down. So now you can see I have a fade out. So let's listen to that one. So that's a second way of doing it. So. I'll undo that. Now, another way is to use the crossfade tool. So if you don't have your effects library open, you can click on effects library, come over here to toolbox, to audio transitions, and you can do a crossfade or crossfade minus three or plus dB. I'll kind of show you the difference here. If I take this crossfade zero dB and I stick it on the end, now I'm gonna adjust it out to kind of match where that footage fades out. And let's try that. So, number of different ways. Now, the advantage of doing it with the crossfade is if you click on it and open up the inspector, now I have a little finer control over this one. So I can set my duration so it's exactly where I want it to be how many frames, my alignment, end on the edit, center on the edit, start on the edit. Now, if I do this, watch this, uh, watch the timeline there. If I say center on edit, it's gonna shift it over to the side. Now, this is great if I'm transitioning from one audio track or one audio clip to another audio clip, and I wanna fade one out and fade one in, I can center on the edit. I can start on the edit, which is gonna kinda be the exact opposite of what I want for fading out music or end on the edit. So a little bit more control here. Audio transition styles. 
uh, crossfade, crossfade negative 3 dB, crossfade plus 3 dB. And in the crossfade, how do I want it to fade in and out? So some nice control doing it this way. Now, a shortcut for this, just like with any of the um, transitions on video, you can have a default one. Well, you can see the red line next to crossfade 0 dB has the red line, meaning it's the default. So if I have the audio clip selected and I hit Option T or Command T on a Mac, hit Command T, it's going to add those transitions to the beginning and end automatically for me. So fade in, we'll get to the end here. And it'll fade out. That is a standard crossfade. So if I go to the inspector, I can control it or I can just grab the end of it and stretch it out. And you can see it changes there in the inspector. And there we have it. So a couple really simple ways of doing audio transitions, fading in, fading out. And I hope this answered the question out there on how to do this. And like I said, there's a couple different ways. One of the things I love about DaVinci Resolve is there's always a couple different ways to do most of the things you want to do. So we have the audio transitions, we have the volume control method, or we have the transition handles that we can use. So three different ways of fading audio in or out. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure and share it and click on that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you are, make sure you click that bell icon so you actually get a notification whenever I put out a new video. If you really like the stuff I'm doing, check out the Patreon link down in the description. Every little bit helps out so I can uh, get some more stuff in here and do some more giveaways and drawings and things that are all coming up. We're growing this channel fast and I really appreciate each and every one of you for helping to grow this channel. It means a lot to me that you guys are supporting me this way. Um, can't do it without you. So thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.